It's a vast pottery army which is slowly being unearthed from the tomb where it's lain for more than 2,000 years. The Terracotta Army has a voice. Thanks to a revolutionary quantum AI, the mysterious inscriptions covering the 2,000-year-old soldiers have been decoded. This is one of the supervisory trees that Janice has created based on the inscriptions. So this is the one based on the inscriptions from the Halberts. We can see individual workers working on different years of the reign of tin. The results are not just shocking, they're bone chilling. Everyone assumed these were the proud marks of the craftsmen who built the army. The reality is something else entirely. The AI has revealed these symbols to be desperate pleas and dark warnings from the people who were forced to build them. This changes everything we thought we knew about the Emperor's tomb and hints at a horrifying truth about the army's intended purpose in the afterlife. When the statues spoke, you're not going to believe this, but for nearly 50 years, the greatest secret of the Terracotta Army wasn't buried in the Emperor's tomb, it was hiding in plain sight. Etched onto the armor, tucked inside the hollow chest, and carved under the feet of over 8,000 clay soldiers were thousands of mysterious inscriptions. Most experts wrote them off as simple signatures of the artisans or maybe inventory codes, nothing more than ancient assembly instructions. They were wrong, dead wrong. Recently, a secretive Chinese project known only as Tianji or Heavenly Secret pointed a state-of-the-art quantum AI at this ancient puzzle. And the results didn't just shock the world, they turned history on its head. This wasn't just any computer. We're talking about a quantum system capable of processing trillions of possibilities in a split second. Researchers fed it high-resolution, multi-spectral scans of every single warrior, creating a massive digital library of symbols that were previously faded, damaged, or completely invisible to the human eye. The AI's mission was to find patterns that two generations of human archaeologists had missed. And boy, did it ever! It started by connecting scattered symbols across hundreds of different soldiers, linking a character on a general's helmet in pit number one to another on an archer's leg 300 feet away in pit number two. It found sequences and structures that looked less like names and more like sentences. The first translation that came back was enough to send a chill down anyone's spine. Found repeated on the inner armor plates of dozens of soldiers, a place no one was ever meant to see, was a simple, horrifying phrase. We were built by suffering. It wasn't a signature. It was a testimony. It was a voice from the past screaming out from its clay prison. Then came another, found inside the hollow torso of a high-ranking officer. He took our names and burned them into this earth. Think about that for a second. This wasn't a celebration of a glorious project. This was a message of loss, a statement that the workers themselves were being erased and replaced by these clay figures. The crazy part is, it got even darker. The Tianji AI began decoding inscriptions that weren't just sad, they seemed to be warnings or even dark incantations. One sequence, found only on the kneeling archers who are positioned at the front of the formation, translated to something truly unsettling. May our souls never know peace, but stand guard for eternity. It sounds like a ritualistic curse, a formula to bind the spirits of the workers to their creations. Suddenly, these statues weren't just lifelike representations of soldiers. The AI's discovery suggested they might have been intended as vessels, eternal prisons for the souls of the very people who were forced to build them. This bombshell reveal changes everything. The Terracotta Army is no longer just a monument to an emperor's power, but a potential crime scene 2,000 years old filled with the hidden messages of its victims. The implications are enormous. This wasn't an army to protect the emperor in the afterlife. It was a collection of souls trapped and bound to service. The entire site, a wonder of the ancient world, is now viewed through a much darker lens. 
the unique face of each soldier is no longer a testament to artistic skill, but a haunting reminder that a real person with a real story may be tied to it. The Chinese government has been incredibly tight-lipped about the full extent of Project Tianji's findings, releasing only fragments. But what has leaked out is enough to make you question everything you thought you knew about this incredible discovery. The inscriptions were not meant to be read, they were meant to be felt. A 50-year mystery. It's funny when you think about it. The world's biggest archaeological discovery was made by a couple of farmers just looking for water. Back in 1974 in China's Shanxi province, they were digging a well when their shovels hit something hard. It wasn't a rock. It was the head of a life-sized clay man. What they had stumbled upon was the edge of a massive underground army, a force of over 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots, and nearly 700 horses, all created to guard the tomb of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. For decades, the sheer scale of the army was the main story, an army built over 2,200 years ago with every soldier having a unique face, hairstyle, and expression. It was mind-boggling. Almost immediately, archaeologists noticed the small markings. Tiny, intricate characters were carved into the clay, often in hidden spots, under an arm, on the sole of a shoe, or on the back of an armor plate. For years, the official explanation was pretty boring. These were just quality control stamps. The ancient Chinese government was obsessed with order and accountability. If a weapon or an armor plate was defective, the foreman in charge would be held responsible. So many inscriptions were translated as names of workshops like Gong or the names of foremen. It made sense and for a long time nobody questioned it. But there were always problems with that theory. For starters, a huge number of the symbols didn't match the standard Qin Dynasty script. They were weird, distorted, or completely unique. Some statues had tons of marks, while the soldiers standing right next to them had none. There was no clear pattern. It was a mess. It's like trying to read a book where half the letters are upside down and a third are from a language you've never seen. Researchers were stumped. They took pictures, wrote them down in catalogs, and then, for the most part, just ignored them. The mystery of the inscriptions became a footnote in the grand story of the Terracotta Army. Get this, the challenge was also physical. Many of these statues are incredibly fragile. You can't just pick one up and turn it over to see what's written on the bottom. And you definitely can't crack one open to see if there's writing on the inside, even though rumors persisted that the most important messages were hidden deep within the hollow figures. Access was limited, and the technology just wasn't there. So the strange symbols remained a silent enigma. They were right there, tantalizingly close, but completely out of reach. It was a secret language that no one had the key to unlock a whisper from the past that was too quiet to hear. And so, for 50 years, the world looked at an army of silent storytellers, never knowing that they were screaming. But some people had darker theories about what those whispers meant. An Emperor's Cruelty To understand the shocking messages decoded by the AI, you have to understand the man they were made for, Qin Shi Huang. He wasn't just an emperor, he was a force of nature. He was the man who unified China for the first time in 221 BC, ending centuries of bloody conflict. He standardized writing, money, and measurements. He started building the Great Wall. On paper, he sounds like one of the greatest leaders in history. But there's a much darker side to his story. Qin Shi Huang was a brutal tyrant obsessed with power, control, and, most of all, cheating his own demise. His rule was built on the backs of a massive forced labor population. The ancient historian Sima Qian, writing about a century after the emperor's time, estimated that more than 700,000 people were forced to work on the emperor's tomb complex alone. 700,000. 
That's more than the entire population of Boston today. These weren't just skilled artisans, they were convicts, prisoners of war, and peasants who were rounded up and forced into service. The conditions were horrific. Sima Qian wrote that they worked under the constant threat of beatings, or worse, for the smallest mistakes. They were treated as completely disposable. This is where the AI's decoded messages start to sound chillingly real. Phrases like, constructed by suffering and I worked until my hands broke, are no longer just poetic expressions. They are likely the literal truth for the people who carved them. These weren't proud craftsmen signing their work, they were desperate souls leaving a final hidden record of their misery. It's a whole different ball game when you realize the Terracotta Army might not be a monument to glory, but a massive unmarked grave marker for the hundreds of thousands who perished building it. The Emperor's obsession with his own afterlife was legendary. He wanted to rule in the next world just as he did in this one. That's why he had a whole army built to protect him. But his cruelty didn't stop with the living. Sima Qian also made a terrifying claim that to keep the secrets of the tomb safe, all the workers and artisans who built the inner chambers were trapped and entombed alive with the emperor. Now think about the inscriptions again, the ones that sound like dark incantations. May our souls never know peace, but stand guard for eternity. It's possible this wasn't just a threat, but an actual ritual performed to bind the spirits of the deceased workers to the clay soldiers, forcing them into an eternity of servitude even after they passed. The emperor wasn't just taking their lives, he was trying to take their souls too. This horrifying context makes the next discovery even more disturbing. A world in disbelief. So where does this leave us? We have a world-famous historical site, a symbol of China's ancient power that might actually be a monument to unimaginable cruelty and dark rituals. If the Tianji AI's translations are proven to be 100% accurate, the implications are staggering. It changes not just the story of the Terracotta Army, but our entire understanding of Qin Shi Huang's legacy. He goes from being a ruthless but brilliant unifier to something far more monstrous. A ruler who not only worked hundreds of thousands of people to their end, but may have attempted to enslave their very souls. It's a story that feels more like a horror movie than a history lesson. The thing is, does a discovery this big just happen overnight without raising questions? Right now, the full data from the Quantum AI project is a closely guarded secret. The few translated phrases that have leaked are explosive, but they're still just fragments. Is it possible we're missing a key detail? Could there be another interpretation? Or more cynically, is the full story even more shocking than we can imagine, so much so that it's being intentionally suppressed? This revelation would undoubtedly cause a massive global controversy. It forces us to ask tough questions. How should the Terracotta Army be presented to the millions of tourists who visit each year? Should it be celebrated as a marvel of engineering or mourned as a memorial to the nameless dead? This puts the modern world in a tricky position. On one hand, you have a discovery that rewrites history. On the other, you have a national treasure and a powerful symbol of cultural pride. The decoded messages, if true, tarnish that image forever. It's no wonder that there's a debate raging behind closed doors about what to do next. Some experts are calling for a complete reevaluation of the site, demanding that the stories of the laborers be given a central place in the museum. Others caution against jumping to conclusions based on translations from a new, unproven AI technology. They argue that we need more verification before we condemn an emperor from two millennia ago. And then there's the biggest elephant in the room, the emperor's tomb itself. It has never been opened. 
For decades, archaeologists have held back, citing concerns about preserving the ancient artifacts inside and legends of deadly traps and rivers of liquid mercury. But now the stakes are even higher. If the inscriptions on the outside are warnings, what terrifying secrets lie within the tomb itself? The AI's discovery has reignited the debate about whether we should finally open the central tomb. The voices from the clay have spoken, but the emperor's tomb remains silent. What other secrets are buried with him? Let us know your thoughts below. Like and subscribe for more.